Today's recipe for British scones is so simple to make. Like the classic scone, they are flaky, light and fluffy, oh so British. Let's get started on the scones. You're going to want to place your oven rack in the upper middle position and preheat the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. I know it seems hot, but for these scones to take flight and rise well, we want the oven really hot. And we're gonna lower the temperature before we put them in, so don't worry. I've also lined a baking sheet with parchment paper and I'm using a circle biscuit cutter. Even though I own a scone pan, traditional British scones are round, so that's what we're gonna to make today. In the food processor, I'm gonna pulse my flour, a little sugar, baking powder, and salt. I'm doing this so everything gets mixed well. We don't want some scones rising more than others. Then I'm gonna add some cubed butter that has softened and we're gonna pulse until fully incorporated and the mixture looks like very fine crumbs with no visible butter, about 20 pulses. Of course, you could totally do this by hand by sifting your dry ingredients into a large bowl and knead the butter with a pastry or dough blender. I'll link one below in case you don't have a food processor. In this other bowl, I'm gonna whisk the eggs first and then add the milk. In this small bowl, I have a little bit of milk that I'm going to set aside to brush over the tops of my scones. That will give them a beautiful golden color on the top. So now we just add the flour mixture into the milk and using a spatula, we're gonna fold it to combine until no dry flour remains. I'm gonna add my prunes to the dough and stir them in. The dough is ready, so I'm going to flour my countertop a bit and give it a quick knead by hand. You're gonna knead this for about 20 times, folding the dough over until it's fully combined and it's free of separations in the seams or cracks. With your hands, you're gonna shape this into a ball and with a rolling pin, you are gonna give it a quick roll until it's about an inch tall. Using a flour two and a half inch cutter, we're gonna stamp eight rounds. If your cutter begins to stick, simply flour it again. Towards the end, you'll have a few dough scraps, so you'll just reshape and cut again. Once ready, we transfer them onto the prepare pan and brush the tops with milk. The oven is preheated to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, so before we put the scones in, I'm going to reduce the temperature to 425. Now we bake them for about 10 minutes until the tops are golden brown. Wow, look at these perfectly golden tops and the prunes are baked right in for perfect sweetness. Flaky, soft, added sweetness and fiber from the prunes, simply delicious. See you next time.